we don't see too many, uh... Uh... We don't see too many... What? Strangers. Around these parts. So, <laughs> what'll it be? <laughs> Whiskey. Two glasses. Leave the bottle. What are you looking at? I said, what the hell? What are you looking at? You got any coffee? Coffee? Oh, yeah, sure, of course. I'll, I'll be right back. <laughs> That'd be a good idea. I know you, I know you heard me. So what are you looking at? On YouTube? And what are you looking at? That is a mighty nice bandana you got there. Huh? Oh, you like to? Thank you. I know you, don't I? Maybe. You been around here before? No. <laughs> I'm from Sonora. They call me Chale. Well, that is quite a name. <laughs> You're my friend, right? But you gotta tell me something, friend. Why the hell do you come in here with your mulo slave who stares at people? Mm -hmm. It's rude, no? No, he's not rude. He just doesn't like scumbags. No, that ain't it. I just don't like you. Huh? Come on, let's go. I do know who you are. Across his face. We didn't mean no trouble. We're just trying to make a living, is all. You didn't mean any trouble. You didn't mean no trouble.
If you're gonna kill me, start shooting. Easy, Duke. Just need to talk. Close the door behind you. Please, have a seat. Sure. Why are you here? Well, you, you called me in, remember? I'm not in the mood for this. So I was a little late. Work starts at 7 a.m. sharp. Do you have any idea what time it is? I understand, This sir. is a business, son. A well-oiled machine. If one cog in the wheel is not working, then it all falls apart. Do you see what I'm trying to say to you? That I'm a cog, sir? I should have fired your ass long ago when I had the chance. <sighs> Trouble is, you do a bang-up job when you're here. Hence my dilemma. How to let you go without being the bad guy. Or how to let you stay without appearing weak. Come again, sir? I have this little pet project of mine. More of a passion, really. I stumbled on this about five years ago when I took over the chief's job. Arizona, 1892. Bank robbery gone wrong. Six people dead. They called it the Midday Massacre. September 23rd, 1892. Four men led by an ill-tempered outlaw named Levi Hardin, walked into a bank in a small boom town of young country, Arizona. When the smoke cleared, six people were dead, including a five-year-old girl. A traveling photographer happened to be passing through town that day. Frank Sheldon. Sheldon? Want to start at the Gazette? That's right. And what was supposed to be a series of rudimentary shots to test a camera he'd invented ended up capturing one of the only live bank robberies ever caught on film. We run! No, man, stay down! Stay down! Don't shoot! Don't shoot, man! Don't shoot! Whoa! I'll fucking kill him! Hey! I'll kill him! Pardon, don't you hurt her! I know you don't want that! No! Gained national attention, what with the vicious nature of the crime and the high-profiled individuals involved. One in particular, a well-respected U.S. Marshal named Duke Donovan. That him? Mm-hmm. Some say he was the ringleader. So the man people were supposed to trust ended up betraying them. Doesn't in there. Donovan and Hardin escaped free and clear that day, but a posse caught up to them later. This one's alive! So Hardin double-crossed Donovan and took the money? On the contrary. It's all right there with Donovan. Donovan claimed that he was trying to stop them, but Hardin was holding a woman hostage outside of town. He said he was going to kill her if Donovan didn't aid in the robbery. So Donovan said he went along with it until the last second. There was no sign of a mysterious woman. And Hardin? Donovan claimed he shot him in the head before he blacked out. Never found the body. What happened next? I don't know if it was his 20 years of service to the law or the fact that Donovan claimed he never fired a shot during the robbery, but something put doubts in the minds of the jury. It's a hanging offense. But they sentenced him to life in the Yuma Territorial Prison. He lasted there six weeks before escaping. He was killed two days later by a young deputy. Sounds like quite a story. Oh, it is. I had to uncover a lot of rocks to find this much. But what do you think? I'm not sure. But I'm going to let you help me form that opinion. How's that? By getting an interview with the last man alive who knows what really happened. 
His name is Seymour Redfield. Some people think his real name is Tom Sullivan, the young deputy that killed Donovan that day. When Sullivan brought Donovan's body back to town, he disappeared, was never heard from again. Why don't you just talk to this man? <laughs> well, let's just say we don't see it eye to eye and leave it at that. Only interview I never got. Well, what makes you think you want to talk to me? Because you have more motivation than I do. Your job's on the line. Get the story. Or... Hello, Mr. Redfield. That's a 45 long colt. Its many admirers refer to it as the peacemaker. Mr. Redfield? Depends on who's asking. I'm Jesse Helms from the Gazette. Uh, I was hoping I could talk to you. I'd have thought you people would take the hint by now. I, I'm, I didn't mean to intrude, sir. I knocked on the door and it fell open. You know, I could have blown your goddamn head off. I'd have been well within my rights. But since I just saved your life, why don't you have a drink with me? Uh, no, no, thank you, sir. I, I'm on the clock. Whose clock? Not my clock. Well, in that case, a small one, sir. Why don't you rest your butt? Make yourself comfortable. Thank you, sir. You know, my uh, chief said that you didn't like to talk too much. Your chief? You mean Morgan Hines? Well, pay no attention to Morgan Hines. He's nothing but a damned old blowhard. Only thing he's interested in is a good scandal so as he can sell more sheets of that rag he puts out. Hines said that if I didn't talk to you, then I'd be out of a job. Oh, well, that's too bad. However, I hear the pig farm down the road is hiring. <laughs> you know, sir, I, I don't want to waste any more of your time. I'll see myself out. I inherited this gun from Duke Donovan the day he died. Marshal Duke Donovan? The very one. Was that the gun he used in the robbery? Is that why Hines sent you here? Talk about Duke Donovan? Well, yes, sir. It is. Well, I suppose if you're looking for the truth, that's where it all began. With Donovan. By 1892, some say the legend of Duke Donovan had begun to eclipse the man. You 
never had any children on account of their getting married later in life. Just a wife he loved fiercely. They say that every name is written down. But their passion for each other more than made up for it. One day our time will come. Her love was constant. And every one of us will stand alone to account for what we've done. Through thick and thin, she stood by him. As the jury reached their verdict, we have, Your Honor, we, the above entitled jury, do hereby find Duke Donovan guilty on all counts. Order! Order in the court, order! Now, the punishment of such a crime is to hang by the neck until dead. However, in light of your many years of community service and your impeccable service record, the court has decided to grant you a reprieve. Therefore, you are hereby sentenced to life imprisonment at Yuma Territorial Prison, where you shall do hard labor for the rest of your life without the possibility of parole. This court's adjourned. Take it away. Duke came to Yuma Prison the spring of 1893. His arrival was the talk of the place. He had as many enemies in Yuma as he did at Myers. <laughs> He'd put half of them in there. He was a quiet, deliberate man, and those eyes, no one ever forgot those eyes. What is on the block? I'd like to take a moment to personally welcome you all to Yuma. <laughs> I believe you'll find your stay here to be a tough, but a fair one. We work a six-day week and rest on Sundays. That's reserved for the good Lord. I don't care who you are or what you did, but in here you're mine. The government of this great territory has asked us to assist in the construction of a new section of prison. You'll get two squares a day which you'll have to work damn hard for him. However, in the end, you'll have managed to do something you failed to do in your previous lives. Make a positive contribution to society. I consider myself a fair man. Should you have a need that has not been addressed, my door is always open, ace high. Godspeed in your work. You ladies heard the warden? Back to work! Not you, Donovan. Come with me. Come on! You'll be staying in here. Warden Logan thought it might be a good idea to keep you away from the rest of the populace. Get changed, we'll come by to collect your clothes. Remember, ladies, there is no talking on the line. Unless you want to be eating your dinner through a straw. Keep it down. Stay quiet. Put your back into it. Hey. Are you talking to me? Yeah. No, 
I like that pickaxe you got right there. Say, ain't you that law dog everybody's been talking about? Yeah. That's me. Donovan began to settle into his newfound lot in life at Yuma, working by day, separated from the other prisoners at night. Many began to forget he was there. As days turned to weeks and the first month passed, it looked like Donovan was going to be all right. That is until the day Will Penny and Cage Dalton arrived. Dalton's ornery disposition got him thrown in the hole immediately. Hey, sir! I'm, I'm hey. it! Straight to the hole! As for Will Penny, well, he would have more to do with the fate of Duke Donovan than anyone could have ever realized. That's right. Keep digging. You want some? If the warden's in a bad mood, he makes those prisoners dig with just the handles. God damn it. Bunch of criminals. Kid, kid, look at me. You want Kane to hear you? Son of a bitch. I'm sorry about this, kid. No, 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 no. What's going on here? I don't know. I think he's Scorpion Bit. That true? Yes, it's just like he said. All right, all right. Get him up on his feet. Get him up on his feet, take him to the wagon. Get him a drink of water. Uh. Whole thing's gonna set us back today. Warden's gonna blow up. Uh. What's that, sir? Show me your bad. Well, you know, I don't know. Well, you know, I... I Show the bad <laughs> now, I'll shoot you dead. Okay, okay, please. <laughs> there is no bite. I don't got no bite, sir. I thought so. There now, there now. Feels good to tell the truth, doesn't it, boy? <laughs> yes, it does, sir. Mm. Well, that's still no excuse. Oh, no, please, please. Throw him in the hole. I will not tolerate liars. Get up! Come on! 
You got a problem with that? He's just a kid. That kid cut a couple in El Paso from ear to ear with a butcher's knife. But then you know all about murdering women and children, don't you? Deputy Sullivan? Yes, sir. Throw him in the hole as well. Seeing as you're the sympathetic type, you can spend some time there with your new friend. Let's go, Donovan. Come on. Next time, I won't be empty. I'm sorry about this, Donovan. you, kid. Guessing they got your story wrong, too, huh? No, sir. I, I killed those people deader than hell. After uh, my parents died, the state took my sister and me, put us in an institution. And one day, this, uh, 
this couple come and say we was gonna go live with them. It was all right at first. We made some new friends and had a roof over our head. Then, uh, then one night, uh, the wife came into my room. She wasn't wearing nothing. And she said if I told anyone, she was gonna send my sister away. So uh, I, I went along with it for a while to protect her. Then I, I caught the old man with her. And I, I knew I had to do something. She was just, just a little girl, you know? Innocent. It's a hell of a thing, kid. It's a hell of a thing. It's a real touching tale, ain't it? What about you, Dalton? What's your story? Me? Oh, I mean, train jumping and grave robbing, card playing, lying, cheating, stealing pretty much my whole life. See, I was in uh, Timentina, New Mexico, a few weeks ago in a jail waiting on my trial date. And there was a man in, this, uh, in the jail cell with me. He's lying me through and through. Had a real nasty scar on the left side of his face, result of getting shot. What was his name? We ain't no hurry, is we? What was his name? I say we ain't in no hurry. <laughs> Where was I? Oh, yeah. This fella claimed that uh, the gunshot to the head almost killed him. Bank robbery gone wrong, says he. Convinced this lawman go along with him on the county. He had a fine piece of ass held hostage, and he's gonna kill her if the lawman didn't go along with him. I need your help, Duke. Put your gun down. I'm blowing a red rifle. You're gonna kill Put me. your gun down. Good. I need your help. Keep talking. Well, hey, uh, they pulled off the robbery and got back to the hideout, and they thought this long man was gonna be easy pickings on account of he was outnumbered and all, but they was wrong. Come on, let's go. Ha, ha. it was, seeing that this lawman and the woman he was trying to help was actually the very woman that betrayed him. She was a painted lady, lover, Levi Hart, nursed him back to health, was in on it all along. What happened to him? Where is he? That's, a, that's the best part, see. Harden was caught stealing cattle in that part of the country. That's a hangable offense. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Sheriff, Levi Perry Harden, you have been sentenced by a jury to hang for your crimes until dead. Do you have any last words? Y'all can kiss my ass! <laughs> <laughs> Ha, ha, ha!
kill innocent women and children and get life in prison, but you take a man's cow. <laughs> That's a whole nother goddamn deal, ain't it? <laughs> Guard! <laughs> Guard! You tell the warden. President Donovan, this is a pleasant surprise. Leave us. I must commend you. You and your friend lasted a good while. Not as long as some, mind you, but then they didn't have the choice you did. I came here to tell you that Levi Harden is still alive. I think I know where he's headed next. Excuse me? That's what you came to say to me? Did you hear what I said? Harden's still alive. I think my wife's in danger. Well, that is a predicament. Well, I fail to see what that has to do with our meeting here today. This is you son of a bitch. I don't care what you think of me. My wife's in danger. Harden's not gonna stop till he gets to me any way he knows how. Now you gotta do something! I suggest you take your hands off my collar. You won't call for me and you won't have to worry about your precious wife. Cause you'll be dead. Excellent. God! Take him away. Back to the hole. No, oh, put him in with the main population. I'm sure they'll make room for him. I don't care what you think of me. There's an innocent woman in danger. It's your duty to help her. It's your duty. I have a witness. Ask Dalton. Ask Dalton. They will crucify him, sir. Do it. You do make the best ribs this side of the Mississippi. Hm. Look, Sullivan, as far as I can tell, you're the only guy in here that has some sense of right and wrong. Now, if you won't help me, help her. Unhook him. She's all alone out there, Sullivan. You gotta help her. You gotta do something. There ain't nothing I can do, goddammit! What the hell am I supposed to do, huh? Go on. Go! Go! Go. Please. I got me a nice place right over here for you. You know, first thing I did when I got out was make a trade for this. Hey, What's Donovan. On? What's going on? You need to get out of here, kid. No matter what happens, you stay away. No, sir, I need to stay right here with you. Beat it. Beat it. What you gonna do? I'm not sure. You remember me? Oh yeah, I remember you. Jarvis, isn't it? You and your rapist brother. It ain't proper to insult the dead since you've done the killing. Kid, I want you to promise me something. Yes, sir. No matter what happens to me, you hang in there. You stick with the old timers, they know how to survive. Yeah. You hear me? Uh-huh. Well, you gonna be okay? 
Just promise me. Yes, sir. Yeah! Let it be. Come on! You give him a decent burial. Ladies, lockdown. It's not not time. Checking the locks. Checking the locks. Done. You don't belong here. Meet me at the new yard in one hour. You get caught. You're on your own. Checking locks. We start a new set of rounds, so. Sorry, she can get hung for this. No, don't worry about me. I'll be all right. Yes. Thank you. 
I changed my mind. Well, I was shaking from my sleep as they dragged me to my feet. I was mistaken by the long arm of the law. And the lesson I have learned is the innocent get burned. And the guilty set you up to take the fall. I don't trouble you, ma'am. Got a man up. Can we use your will? Please. Bring him inside. Oh, you know, <laughs> we better water these horses. This ain't no time. Well, if we don't water them, we're gonna be walking. All right. Who was it? Donovan. Inside, too. Inside. Goddamn nigga. Bring him back. Dead. over there. Get some towels. Well, it's a real pretty place. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, Not much further, friend. I'll tell you one thing, Cyrus. You sure don't ride like a cook. That's because I ain't one. Well, the warden sure liked your cooking. Yeah. Well, that's because of my special sauce. Oh, special sauce, huh? You don't want to know. <laughs> <laughs> so what happened anyway? What happened to what? To get you thrown in that rat hole prison. Uh. Well, I was in the night. You're a sure enough buffalo soldier. That's right. That's Colonel Hatch, wasn't it? Yes, sir. You know, we had us this old buck sergeant. I mean, he wanted to ride me all the way to Kansas City, busting me down to a dog robber. Made you a cook, did he? Yeah. I don't like being the cook. Let me ask you something, Donald. <laughs> yeah, really, do, now, do I look like a damn cook?
How's it look? It's got a bullet in his stomach. Gut shot. How long ago was he shot? A few days ago. Where did it happen? Just across the border in New Mexico. You know, you ask a lot of questions. Don't mean to. My husband was also a marshal. Donovan, do you know We're going to need to get him into town. I'll get the team. <laughs> yeah, I know him. I know him real well. <laughs> the horses. Well, it could be turned out. She's gone. <laughs> We're sorry, but she's gone. hell did. I didn't ask you to come snooping around here, you know. Why, why are you telling me all this? Why don't you just let me walk out of here? Maybe I felt sorry for you. Being in trouble with your chief, you know. Or maybe it's just because you remind me of myself when I was your age. I don't know. I do know you didn't come here to talk about me. Came here to talk about Donovan. All right. Well, then let's see, where was I? Oh, yeah. Harden and his men continued west. To them, the events that had transpired just a few hours earlier were nothing more than a passing amusement to be boasted about. I love you, but I really got you. Oh, my darling, Madeline. Go on, Charlie. Have fun with it. Look. Hey, Cap. I know you're not doing well, but you're slowing us all up here. You all right? Oh, my God. 
They've been here, all right. That's their hoof prints in the watering hole. All right, then. We'll set up camp here for the night. Real sorry, Donovan. Something like this, I, I just don't got no words. This ain't your fight, Cyrus. Yeah, well, it seemed to me. I've been fighting other people's wars my whole life. I expect this ain't no different, but sometimes there's wars. A man just got to fight. Mind telling me what the plan is? I'm gonna track him down. All the way to the gates of hell if I have to. If they're headed where I expect they're headed. Where's that? Back side of the Whetstones. Donovan's Ranch. How far? Oh, I don't know. Another day? Most of it, at least. Damn. You think he did it? Did what? Robbed that bank. Killed those people. Hell yeah, he done it. I don't know. I just don't know. You better get to know him. She done this for you, didn't she? She did a lot of things for me. It's not gonna do any good now. I don't reckon it's gonna do no harm, neither. Ready? Go ahead, I'll catch up with you. I'm right. willing to go down where I've never been before. If you will hold the door, if you will hold the door, I will ride. Where the sun will never 
down to the bar and see if we can't find some grain. Figure, if they're going after Hardin, they'll be in Rio Verdes. Indian sign my ass. Hey! Hey! So goddamn respect! I don't care who you are. If I catch you doing something like that again, so help me God, when we leave here, I'll bury you here. That goes for both of you. It's out on our escape yet. Well, there ain't no railroad. Probably no telegraph. Shouldn't be no problem then. Yeah, unless Hurley's still a marshal here. He knows you? <laughs> He's an old acquaintance. Hell, Donovan. Everybody in this country knows you. Shooting up his yeah. town and breaking hearts. Yeah. Son, who do you think you are? Maybe. Maybe. Sitting at Maybe. this table playing the devil's card. We got a law in this town. It's a uh, early in the morning. Ain't it, boy? What? 
strangers around these parts. So, what'll it be? Whiskey, two glasses. Leave the bottle. What are you looking at? I said, what the hell? What are you looking at? You got any coffee? Coffee? Oh, yeah, sure, of course. I'll, I'll be right back. <laughs> That'd be a good idea. I know you, I know you heard me. So what are you looking at? On YouTube? And what are you looking at? That is a mighty nice bandana you got there. Huh? Oh, you like that? Thank you. I know you, don't I? Maybe. You been around here before? No. <laughs> I'm from Sonora. They call me Chale. Well, that is quite a name. <laughs> You're my friend, right? But you gotta tell me something, friend. Why the hell do you come in here with your mulo slave who stares at people? Mm -hmm. It's rude, no? No, he's not rude. He just doesn't like scumbags. No, that ain't it. I just don't like you. Come on, let's go. Need that was coming up. Across his face. We didn't mean no trouble. We're just trying to make a living, is all. You didn't mean any trouble. You didn't mean no trouble. You're gonna kill me, start shooting. Easy, Duke. Just need to talk. There ain't no time.
took off that way. Best I can tell on one horse. Good. We can catch him then. Can't lie if they come looking for you. I wouldn't expect you to. Deputy Tom Sullivan, Yuma. Marshal Hurley, what can I do for you? We're looking for a couple of men. One of them's a nigger. Duke Donovan. The other one's name is Cyrus Parker, and he is a Buffalo soldier. They broke out of Yuma. Yeah, they came through town a couple hours ago. Killed two men. I ain't surprised. Me either. Those are a couple of men who needed killing. Bro with Levi Harden's gang. We caught when that Harden's men killed Donovan's wife. That they did. Son of a bitch. Any idea where they're headed? Um, my guess would be the border. The border? Yeah. They're hot on his trail. Whose? Harden's. Obliged. Go. Thanks for the whiskey. Freedom is your prison when you curse to keep on running. Hard to tell the difference from the hunter and the honey. Looking for redemption down the barrel of a gun. Your finger on the trigger, your back against the sun going down. Going down, going down to a place where no mercy can be found And you pay for what you've done with your soul Going down where the darkest of the angels surf around He's just waiting cause he knows, yes he knows It's going down been dead long. How bad is it? Uh, well, didn't catch any bone, but it's a good one. What's going on over there? That's three of the warden's deputies. They gonna be sitting ducks for Harden. Foster, check it out. What are you doing? I can't let innocent men get killed, even if they are trying to kill me. Think they lost us? Listen. What is it? It's too quiet. Son of 
a bitch! Hey! He's already dead! They're already dead! Come on. We gotta get back to Sars. You ready? Let's go! Damn my leg! How you doing, Sai? How the hell does it look like I'm doing? Donovan, you trying to get yourself shot? Yeah, it appears so. We are dead men down here. Sullivan, we gotta get a higher ground. Now you're making sense. Simon, I'm gonna need that mare's leg. Yep. I give the signal. You give it all you got, all right? All right. All right, Tom. You break when I do. Let's go! God. So I guess we're finally gonna get to finish what we started! Finish what you started! It doesn't matter! The way I sail, we both lose! You took my money! And I took your life! Y'all are gonna let God sort that out! Fuck you! Yeah, come on! So this is it. This is the best you can do. The great! Duke! Diamond! Yeah. Get up. Get up, Duke! Get up! Get up!
You know I gotta bring you in. You're gonna have to kill me first. Yeah, I know. We got no choice. We all got choices. I made mine a long time ago. Do it. Do it. Pretty good on that thing, sir. Sit down. You ever wonder why I helped you escape out that prison? It's because you helped me remember how I used to walk. And I'm mighty beholden to you. Yeah. Just uh, keep your company on your travel. Yeah, you might even learn how to play the damn thing. Thanks. Donovan never told Sullivan where he was going. Both men wanted it that way so as not to put the other at risk. Cyrus rode east, some say to Louisiana, where it was rumored he'd prospered in dry goods. Sullivan returned to Yuma with a body. Of course, it was so charred, no one could really tell who it was. So the warden had to take Sullivan's word that it was Donovan. That day, Sullivan left Yuma for good. He changed his name to Duncan. And a month later, became the sheriff of Wickenburg, where he lives to this day. So Sullivan never up and disappeared like everyone thought. He just changed his name. Now you're catching on. <laughs> Wait, if, if you aren't Sullivan, and only those three survived that day. Then you're. But, but that makes you. 82 years old. I thought you said you got that gun the day Duke Donovan died. I did. I inherited this gun from Duke Donovan the day he became Seymour Redfield. He didn't need it anymore. He was a dead man. There's no statute of limitations on murder, is there? No, son. I'm afraid not. Just got one more question. What is it? The robbery. Were you tricked into it? Or behind it? What do you think? I think I need another drink. Can I ask you one more thing? Why'd you tell me everything? Well, I figure the sand in my hourglass is running a little low and somebody ought to know the truth about what really happened. Just keep it under your sombrero, will you, until after I'm gone? Thank you.
Run 